main experiment to this video was, can a homemade crawfish trap catch crawdads? Oh yeah, we got them. Oh baby. What's up people? So I'm actually inside of Walmart right now and we gotta get some supplies. As you guys can tell, we're in the fishing section right now, but we have to get some supplies. <laughs> What's up, man? For um, some crawfish traps. So pretty much we're gonna be making our own crawfish traps today and then setting them in my woods by this little creek that's behind my house, a little hidden creek. So we need to get the supplies while we're here right now, but the first thing we need is obviously some bottles. Cause we're gonna be making it out of some like big two liter bottles or like some big water bottles. That's what we're gonna be using. Also some zip ties, we need that as well. I might need to pick up a few things. We also need some bait to put inside of it, which you can use a few different things, but let's go ahead and get over by like the bottles and get our main base of the trap. So this is actually what we're gonna be getting right here for one of the main traps. I think we're gonna build two, but this is the first trap that I'm gonna get. This is, you know, a basic Deer Park gallon jug. And as you guys can tell, it's not like this, which I'll explain more outside while we're not in Walmart. But you don't want the ones with like the handles and you don't want something that's like too slim. So this is perfect for a little cage trap that we can use. Just got the supplies at Walmart, hopped in my truck. I didn't show you guys everything, but we're about to head to my house right now since the creek's just right behind it. I wanna show you all the supplies. We're gonna build it and then we're gonna go trap some crawdads. I was gonna film this outside and I was gonna film more in Walmart, but one, Walmart had a lot of people. This is like a couple days before Christmas. It was packed. It was really hard to film in there. There's people everywhere. I was just like, not even gonna deal with that. I was gonna show you guys when I get home. And then I was gonna build this outside, but it actually started raining, but that is not gonna hinder us today because we're gonna go back there and we're still gonna put this old trap in the creek and catch some crawfish. Let me at least show you the supplies that we got. So for the water bottle, I got this Deer Park bottle right here. As you guys can tell, it's just like a perfect shape right here on the sides. It's not like a regular gallon jug where it has the handle. You don't want that because we're gonna actually cut this and put it inside out so it lays flat. So this is actually perfect for a little basic trap that we're gonna build today. So if you guys are looking for one, you can either get like a two liter soda bottle, either like a Coke bottle, whatever it is, that'll work as well. Um, but for this one, I'm gonna use this, this is perfect for the trap, has a lot of space inside and I think it's gonna work really well. The next thing that you're gonna need is obviously some zip ties. We're gonna need these, I don't know how, how much. This is a 20 count pack. These were literally like 80 cents. This thing was like a dollar. So you got $2 right there. And then next, we obviously needed some bait. I went with hot dogs. When I was younger, we used to set up crawfish traps in the creek, actually this creek, but not back where we're gonna set it today. This is a whole different area. I've never done it before. We're gonna be using hot dogs. You can use dog food. You can use like chopped bait, fish guts, whatever you wanna use, um, dog food, cat food, anything works. I'm just gonna use hot dogs today. They're pretty smelly and I think it's gonna get the job done. And then lastly, the last thing that I got was some rope right here. This is probably the most expensive thing. This is like literally 86 cents. So you got $3 for the whole trap. And then I did get some rope. I believe I already have some in my garage, but I just bought some just in case. So I don't get home and I'm like, crap, I don't have any rope. So that's what we're needing. Those are the four requirements for this water jug, bait, zip ties, and some type of rope so I can pull this thing back in. I don't know if this is really the best one because the thing is it doesn't come up much. I kind of want it more at an angle, but I did notice something on the bottom, which is more caved in as you guys can tell right there. And there's a little circle piece. So what I want to do with this trap, which if I do it this way, I won't even need the zip ties or anything. Like this, this will make it even easier. But if this works, then you can actually go get the Deer Park one and make it super simple. So usually what I would do, and by the way, this is not my idea, I took reference from this offline, is I would cut right here around this whole thing. And then I would flip this inside out so this is facing inside. And the crawfish would just crawl right up in. But actually, it's, it's made like a perfect little hole down there. So if I just cut this out, the crawfish could crawl right up in here, and then boom, they're inside the trap. First thing I would like to say, you need a pretty sharp knife for this, at least I do for cutting this bottom. If you guys are younger, make sure you get some your parents nearby or something to help you out if you need to. The last thing I want you guys to do is cut yourself. So I'm gonna cut the center piece out so it leaves a little passageway for the crawfish to crawl right in. I just got this end piece cut out. This is like the thickest plastic. I mean, it's like, that, that, that was hard to cut out, not gonna lie. If I didn't have this knife, which is super sharp, I probably wouldn't be able to do it. So I just cut that out. So as you guys can tell, it's like it's pushed in. This is kind of like what I was talking about as in the front. So if I slice this off, I put it reverse to where the this is pretty much like the bottle cap to where they crawl in. Which I think this one works perfect. So if you guys want to go figure out which is the best bottle, I would say the Deer Park one. That is just very hard to cut. 
So this is gonna be a perfect little passageway for the crayfish to crawl right up in here. I need like a little door that I can just throw everything in. So I'm just gonna cut a little rectangle right here to make a door and then we'll use one of these zip ties to zip tie it shut. Perfect right there. We're gonna fold this flat back. To zip tie this thing back shut, I'll make a little slit, just like that. So I made a little hole right behind this little trap door. I wanna stick this rope through. What makes this so perfect is I can bring it back through the trap door right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a few simple knots so this thing can't go back through. Boom, there we go. So now we got it on our little rope. We're gonna be able to place this thing down in the water and when we're ready to retrieve it to see if we have some crawfish in there, it's gonna be perfect to where I can pull it right back up. All right, everybody, we're deep in the woods right now. We got our hot dogs, we got our trap. We do need to find some rocks, but I think we're gonna be able to find those right, right here when we get down to this creek. I am super excited about this. If you guys wanna see some more videos like this, pepper that like button up. Let me know in the comment section below and we'll be sure to make some more. But we're gonna start working our way back in this woods. It's very grown up and it's hard to get through, so it's gonna take me a second to get through with all this stuff, but man, I'm excited. Uh, here's part of the creek right here. I don't know if you guys saw one of my last vlogs, but I came back here, and this is more of the shallow end, and it goes all the way down, and then there's some rocks, and where the current is really flowing really hard down here, and that's where we're gonna be setting this old trap right here, is way back here. So we have to get through all of this right here. It's gonna be pretty painful with all these briars, but we gotta risk it for the biscuit, risk it for the video for you guys. The first thing we need to grab is some little pebbles so we can weigh this thing down because obviously, I mean, it's just a water bottle. It's not gonna weigh down much. And I do have to take the sticker off. I almost forgot about that. I'm probably gonna need to take that off. Um, but we need to find some pebbles first to at least weigh this thing down because there's no weight to it. And then I think I found the perfect area to put it right over here. There's some rocks all right here. There's some rocks all right there. I think that's gonna be a really good location so we could just walk right down and drop it in. But first, we gotta grab our old pebbles. So I'm gonna have to somehow figure out my way down this and grab some of those little rocks down there. I just got us some rocks right here. It is super cold, that water is freezing, but we got us a good bit of rocks. I already threw a few in there. We're just gonna pile them in through this little trap door that I made. And then we're gonna have to zip tie this at the end. We're gonna pile all these rocks in here just so we add some weight to this, cause it's not like a regular crawfish cage. Obviously it's the lightest water bottle that you could probably get cause there's no water in it. Next step is to grab the old hot dogs. These are like 86 cents at Walmart. We're gonna pile them up in there with all those rocks and then we're gonna set this bad boy in and let it sit for a few hours. Put about three hot dogs, just broke them up into little pieces with all the rocks in there. And there is one thing that I kinda need to do and I think I'm going to do. I'm gonna take my knife and poke some random holes all around this thing. I probably poke like six to seven holes just all around this. Super small, obviously. We don't know, we don't want anything big like this, but some little holes just all around in here. It would have been easier if I got a little drill just to pop them all in, but we'll do it pretty quick with a knife. So this is the spot that we're gonna put it right here by all this debris in the water, all these little trees. It's got some rocks right there. Also has some rocks down there, but I don't have any waterproof boots to really walk all the way down there. Um, and it has a good bit of water right here. So either right here or right here is where we're gonna put it. As you guys can tell, we got all the hot dogs in there. I actually zip tied it shut, poked a few more holes in it, and I think we're good to go. We got all the weight that we need, all the bait that we need. And it's gonna be pretty good. We just gotta make sure this thing sits up right. And we got it on this long rope that we can toss out there. Here we go. I got her right down there. I think I have her in the perfect spot. I made sure she sat right so all the weight was level. Not all the rocks were in the back or in the front. They were just leveled out so the thing lays flat. That's very important because if they were all to the back, crawfish wouldn't be able to crawl in because it's gonna be sitting straight up. So we're gonna let this thing sit here for a few hours. We're gonna see how many crawfish we can get. So I got my rope right here. I actually almost slipped and fell in and I got the crawfish trap right over there, right by all these rocks that are right in here. I think it's gonna be a perfect spot. I really wish I could put it over there because that just looks so good, but I just can't get over to it. We're gonna at least let this thing sit for a few hours and see if we can catch something. If we can't, then we'll just move it to a different location and see if we can get some over there. But I think it's gonna be set and good to go. So it's currently one o'clock. We're gonna come back around three o'clock. We're gonna give it a few hours, maybe even a little bit later because I do have some for the Christmas thing. And we're gonna come back and check the trap, see if there's some fish or crawfish in it. And um, hopefully we'll have a good bit. If not, then we're gonna definitely move it. It's starting to rain pretty hard right now. So I'm gonna get out of here. I'd rather not get my camera wet. And I guess I'll catch you guys back out here 
in a few hours. Two hours later. It is time. It has been around three hours, or actually two and a half hours. It's 3.30 right now. We stopped the trap at two, two o'clock. So it's been two and a half hours. So we are at two o'clock, one o'clock, what am I saying? So it's been two and a half hours, we're ready to go check the trap. I'm excited about this, I hope we have a bunch of crawfish or crawdads in the trap. Right, we made it back here. I haven't seen the trap yet, so I don't know. I gotta get down this. Woo. I wish I brought a GoPro down here. I could get a little underwater shot. Hopefully there's something in it and it didn't move. Oh yeah, we got him. Oh baby. Look at that. Look how big they are. <laughs> Looks like we only have two or three, but we got one giant one in there. That is a big guy. So we only have two crawdads in there, maybe three. I, I couldn't really tell. One of them is a freaking big one. I'm not gonna lie. I might reposition this in a different location, but let's go ahead and get these out. I at least want to show you them. And it's gonna be probably pretty difficult to get them out. I wish I made the hatch on top a little bit bigger. I do have my knife on me, so I'm probably gonna cut it a little bit bigger. So the homemade do-it-yourself crawfish trap works, baby. Look at that guy. Oh yeah, he's got some freaking pinchers on him. He's backing himself in this corner. Here we go. Look at him. Look at that big dude right there. Look at that crawdad. That is a pretty big one right there. Not gonna lie, the guy inside is a lot bigger than this one. Beautiful little crawdad right there. He's all curled up so he doesn't look as big. If you guys are wondering how to grab these things, Grab them right behind their pinchers. See how I'm grabbing them on the head right there on the back so their pinchers can't reach around to you. See, he's trying to, but if you grab them like that, you'll be okay. That is an awesome crawdad right there. We're gonna set this trap back in the water because I am gonna catch some more, which I'll explain in a minute. So I am gonna put him back in the trap because I wanna keep these guys alive and I don't wanna hurt them keeping them out of the water. But that is an awesome little crawdad right there i don't know if you guys can see that but right there is a absolute giant i mean a giant crawfish if he wasn't as far in the water i could grab him but he is gigantic right there he's got a hot dog under his two claws he's looking at me like why did you just take my friends i want to see if i can get him with the stick i highly doubt it. he's too deep in the water for me just to grab him that guy is huge if we would have gave it a little bit longer i'm sure he would have got trapped too i could see if i can catch him he is a freaking giant not gonna lie oh i got him i got him pinned down oh don't run away. Oh, you greasy boy. Dang it, man. That was a big one. There's no way I was going to be able to get that. We're going to load the trap back up, though, and put it back in here. I do want to grab these little hot dogs that fell out because I don't want them to be eating this instead of the ones that I put in there. So far, the homemade trap is working. It works perfect. It really wasn't sitting out here too long, so I wasn't expecting too many. I'm just glad that we caught a few. Could have caught three or four because I still see some laying down there. But we're going to lay the trap back in. And I'm going to explain why here in a moment once we get away from this water because I know it's kind of loud. But I'm going to load it back up with some of the hot dogs and put some new ones back in there. And then we're going to drop it back in the water, maybe in a different location. And we're going to come back tomorrow. But I'll explain that here in a minute. Break up some more hot dogs. Some of it poured out when I was bringing it back. Pretty much what I'm doing is I'm breaking this into like four pieces, maybe five about that size and putting it in there. I'm going to just put two more in there just to get that more that sense out there because that's how it attracts them. It's a, you know, the strong smell of these hot dogs. Meats like this, also like chop a cat food, dog food, like I was talking about earlier. Just has that super strong scent for this crayfish to attract to. We got our trap. We got to load it up with some more water so it's even. And lay our trap right down in there. That's a little good position. Just made it back to the house. So I thought I would inform you guys. I don't know if I said two or three. There was three crawdads in there. There was one more under the rock, so I was about the size of the one I pulled out. So there was two about the size of the one I pulled out, and then there was one just huge one. I didn't want to take them all out because I had to cut the zip tie, and I didn't have another zip tie with me, so I had to come all the way back and, and do that whole deal. I was like, nah, I don't even want to mess with that. I'm actually going to be coming back tomorrow morning and checking them to see how many are in there, which I'm kind of excited because in two hours, there was three in there, so hopefully by the morning, I at least have ten crawdads in there if it can fit that many because it is a little bit smaller but the main experiment to this video was can a homemade crawfish trap 
catch crawdad and that is a yes it worked within two hours we had three crawdads in there which doesn't seem like much but if we really give it some more time they will pile up in there and it seems to have worked right the one thing that i am worried about is the hot dogs that were in there because some of them fell out for the main purpose of this video is we are actually going to go back tomorrow morning check the crawdads and then we're going to go fishing with them so that's going to be in the next episode so if you guys haven't subscribed already be sure to hit the subscribe button also hit the notification bell right next to it so it sends you a post notification after every single upload thank you guys so much for the support i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys want to see some more like this and if you enjoyed it leave your thoughts in the comment section and if you guys know a lot about catching crawdads and you'd like to inform me on some information because i haven't done this in like 10 years so i really don't know too much information about it be sure to leave your knowledge below so i could probably take some in and then uh use some of your tips in the next video but thank you guys so much for the support i love you guys so so much and i'll catch you guys at tomorrow's big it up it up it up they gonna try they can